Hello everyone, my name is Devin Rue. I'm a professional fantasy cartographer and illustrator in the tabletop RPG industry, as well as your host for the Quip and Quill podcast. Welcome to the last episode of 2023 and the Quip and Quill podcast. Uh, I'm flying it solo today, just me sitting in my booth, recording, talking to you all, and just... I, I gotta be honest here, um, I mean, not, like, I'm not ever honest, but, um, <laughs> that's a phrase, it's just a phrase. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting, um, this podcast to turn into what it did, so, um, you know, I, I tried to figure out, like, what I wanted to do for the last episode of the year. I kept thinking, like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, maybe I'll have on a special guest. Maybe I'd have Matt back. Maybe, like, I don't know. I was trying to think of something. And then I realized uh, I'm, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, uh, much like my wife. I want to wish you all a very happy holiday season. I hope next year is amazing. I hope we have tons more uh, of uh, independent, freelance, created new stuff out there um i hope that everyone who has been dealing with the layoffs at wizards of the coast finds amazing jobs with better pay benefits if they didn't have them before and if they did then better benefits uh or lots of new work and, and you know that you all land on your feet as a community Nothing has floored me more than how how much we all love to pull together. Because we do, you know. And I repeated almost every episode about how emotional this community is because of the game we play. And I love more than anything else that we are absolutely just genuinely there for each other when needed, you know. And to have so many people whose whose names I recognize make posts talking about how, you know, they were absolutely shocked to find out it was their last day. I mean, what, how fucking gross is all I have to say about that. Like, no notice, just how fucking gross. Uh, right before the holidays. Just, mm. And I hope that this further... Um, um, helps people or, or pushes people to support us freelancers, to support us independent creators, uh, to those of us who are trying desperately not to work for um, particular companies or not to be tied down by only, you know, only being able to take those types of jobs because that's all that's really out there and I know that all of us want to create like the best stories and, and have the best experiences at our tables and and I know that everyone's trying to do that already and that you know no nobody can afford you know a full uh, well maybe some people can some people can't afford their own gaming room and tables and the lights and everything else but uh, and hopefully those people who can't afford it, you know, become our patrons and, and help us continue to create. But for those who don't, you've been listening to this podcast, hopefully, and you know how, how dire a lot of things are in this industry. You know, we've all been talking about artificial intelligence and worrying about what that means for us as artists, because it is so much less expensive to just type in a prompt and um, pay a monthly subscription and have a ridiculous amount of quote unquote, um, well, let's just call them images uh, at your fingertips. And that's super easy, but it it isn't building our community and it isn't furthering it and it doesn't help us have more because as an artist, if I knew that somebody could just type in a bunch of prompts and create what I create without paying me, without acknowledging me, without, you know, credit where it's due, become a patron, something, I don't know. 
that I don't know if I would do this anymore. And I know a lot of artists feel the same way. And a lot of writers and voice actors and and artists and I uh, mean uh, actors, there's it, it's just it's just hard to want to keep doing this when so many other people are are just so willing to to cut us out of the process entirely. And especially in this industry, you know, I have made through the projects that I've done, I've made some amazing friends. I've sat at their tables. I've told stories with them. I've created characters and been in their home games. I've, I, like, it. it isn't just creating art. It's not a paycheck. It's so much more than that. You know, everyone that I'm bringing on here, even if they've never played Dungeons and Dragons, even if they've never been or played any other RPG, even if they only play video games, the overwhelming response that this community has makes them want to play, makes them want to create, makes them want to tell amazing stories. And that's powerful because we are moving people away from, uh, away from doing things by themselves and joining groups and making friends and telling stories and sharing in the hobby that we love. And we're doing that because of how we are and how passionate and, and how much we uphold each other. And we can't do that when there's, when there's companies firing everyone by the thousands before the holidays and not show them some solidarity. Uh, or when, you know, <laughs> or when they create um, policies that essentially sound like they don't give a shit about us as creators and that they want to take that IP away. Or like there's so many things that have happened in the past year alone that have made a lot of us artists, creators, writers, designers just genuinely question why we why we are doing this to start but also you know what kind of future do we have you know are we are we setting ourselves up for tremendous disappointment by continuing to do this because this is our passion this is what we want to do or or should we change gears and try and go in a different direction so we can earn a living and i'm hoping against all hope that 2024 sees the rise of the independent creator in this space, whether designer, writer, artist, whatever, that if, even if AI takes over in other aspects of the world, that hopefully this is its last infiltrated area because I want to tell stories and I want to tell human stories and I want to while I also want to tell tiefling stories and gnome stories and dwarf stories and uh, tabaxi stories and you know but you know what I'm saying I want to tell our stories I want to tell our character stories I want to tell our planet stories our world stories I I just want to spend the next 20 years with my friends sitting around a table laughing our asses off at the dumbass stuff we do um, having amazing moments where we truly connect in ways that we wouldn't be able to otherwise sitting down and watching other people do the same thing in live stream or being able to draw their maps and help bring their worlds to life and see their players just light up with seeing something that they've traversed in their in their minds put out before them and just laid on the table. I I live for those moments and I hope that we don't lose those. You know, I want I want them to know that their their maps were made with a lot of care and thought and with a lot of heart. You know, I want them to know that a storyteller wrote or drew their map 
that somebody who genuinely cares and is a human being behind all of it is is here rooting for them to explore and continue to tell their stories because that's really what we're doing you know we're not just we're not just drawing something for a paycheck we're not just writing something designing something creating something just just for a paycheck because if we were i don't really know if most of us would have started off in the tabletop industry you know Five, six years ago, this wasn't the place to make money, but we were still here, plugging away, hoping against everything else that it would somehow just pay off, you know, and I hope it continues to, with or without any major corporation trying to control the market or monopolize on this very, very human not corporate stats kind of hobby. You know, I hope that we start looking at the projects coming up or that if if you have ideas, you know, if you yourself have been playing with the idea of creating a system or telling a story or making a campaign setting, that you do it. That you, you just take that chance, you know, like the rest of us and, and do something in your spare time and just create something and put it out there because you never know. And I hope that, um, I hope that this podcast was everything that you and more that you hoped it would be. I, I hope that I let you sit down and sit at a table with me and have a drink with a friend, be it coffee, tea, or anything else. I hope that you feel comfortable just sitting there listening and get lost in the conversation. And I hope that it gives you insight to what the rest of us do in this industry or as people, you know, that, that the people that you um, see the names of with huge followings and and um, or on stream or wherever you interact with them, that you realize that they genuinely are human beings, and that we all just just really want to have fun and enjoy what we do, you know, and we can't do any of it without the rest of you, you know. We can't. We can't create. There's no, there's no point in it, it. Making a stream if nobody's watching. You know, there's no point in making a map if nobody else wants to explore it. And I want you to know all these wonderful people that I get the joyous pleasure of working with from time to time. And some people that I haven't yet to work with but desperately want to. Or people whose art that I admire, and hopefully you will too if you don't already. And I, I want to give you just, just a, a genuine look at all of us as people. And I hope that you support the people that I do have on here. And I can't thank you enough for turning up every week and clicking like buttons and sharing and commenting and subscribing to my YouTube channel or my socials or my Patreon. I can't, I can't tell you what that means to me. You know, um, the past couple years have been extremely hard for me as an immune compromised individual, not being able to go to comic cons, not being able to to go anywhere really in person and feeling very like disconnected from the community in a way that was just heartbreaking for me. And I started doing the podcast thinking, oh, I was going to talk about map making and world building and I want to have some people on to just share that with. And then it turning into, oh no, 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 no. I want, I want you all to meet the people I get to meet. You know, uh, a lot of times artists and, and creators and um, actors 
are viewed by the body of work that they create. And yeah, you might you might know like some factoids about us or, you know, um, might get every once in a while a little sneak peek into our private life. But it's totally different when you sit down with somebody that you're friends with and just like shoot the shit. And that's what I want to bring. That's what I want at the table, you know? And when when you all come in and, and just absolutely encourage me to keep talking and keep bringing these people on and um, having, having a lot of, because, uh, you know, I, I don't exactly know if I have all the confidence in the world, but I definitely have more when I'm encouraged uh, by others who really enjoy what I do. Because there's, there's some people that I have been reaching out to that I, I would not have normally asked. Um, and Matt Mercer being one of them, because despite being friends with him, I know how busy he is. And asking him to be on the podcast was just, I was like, oh, you know, I, I immediately was like, hey, you know, if you, you want to turn this down, that's fine. But, you know, I would love it. You know, and also because this is the, again, we don't ever schedule time to just hang out. And this is perfect. This two birds, one stone, we get to hang out and it, we can like write it off as a business thing, you know? So, um, but, but you all encourage me and I love it. And it makes me want to support, uh, the tabletop space even more and bring on more people. Um, and I'm super excited about that. You know, 2024 is, is already looking very interesting and I can't wait. Um, but this will be the last podcast for, uh, the year. I need some time off, regroup, uh, get some things set up. And then I probably, um, will be uh, my first episode for next year will probably be in the second or third week in January. I'm not entirely sure on the date just because I want to make sure that I have recording and editing time because I already have people lined up. Um, I will be starting a second podcast because this was supposed to be, as I said before, uh, a podcast about map making and world building. And that's not what it was. Like from, from the get-go, the first time that I tried to record the first episode with just myself, uh, it was absolutely about map, maps and, and uh, world building. <clears throat> but the moment that I started talking to um, Aaron Radney, and he was on, and we started... Uh, you know, we, we had originally um, recorded that first episode twice. And the first time we got on and we were talking about world building and, and all the stuff that he was creating. And then our conversation turned to something more serious. And we were talking about, you know, behind this and um, all of the interesting things that the two of us have experienced in this space. And I was like, you know what? Why don't we talk about this? And that that was pretty much it. From that moment forward, I knew that it had changed. I knew that it was something else. And I knew that I really wanted to do it because I, you know, want to bring people behind the scenes. And, um, you know, it, there's tons of other podcasts out there that I'm sure do something similar and, and uh, it isn't a, a competition or um, I don't think that, oh, mine's, mine's the best by any means. Like I'm recording this in my home office and uh, on a, a pretty, uh, like, I don't know, $50 mic, you know, I'm just, I'm just doing this to have fun. Um, which does mean that next year my um, schedule for this will be a little more all over the place. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up the pace of editing an episode every week, especially if I'm doing another podcast, so I'm probably going to be doing it every other week. 
but I'll, I'll be releasing something on a regular basis, whether it's art or a podcast episode of either one. Uh, I have a lot planned for next year. So, um, but yeah, I, I hope you come out in droves and support the other podcast as well. And that we get to have a lot of fun with it because again, it is my passion. I do love earth sciences. I do love creating immersive worlds and teaching other people how to, um, do that as well. You know, like I, I want to inspire other people to be creative and imaginative and genuinely play. And um, I can't wait. Uh, there's there's so much coming, and it's going to be just absolutely awesome. But um, again, I wanted to get on here and thank you all for making this amazing, for really encouraging me with with all of your interaction with my social and, and this podcast and everything else. And I hope that. You have an amazing end of the year and that next year is beyond your expectations. And um, I can't wait. So thank you again, bottom of my heart. I, it's just been amazing and I'm overwhelmed. And um, for once, I'm actually just going to let you know that I'm ending the podcast instead of just cutting it off at a good note because um, I do need you to to go to my Patreon at the, you know, patreon.com slash quip and quill. No, it's Q and Q, Q and Q podcast. I'll get there. Or um, uh, Devin Rue, you know, a patreon.com slash Devin Rue, because that will all will be the home of my new podcast. And the bonus content for both will be on that one as well, because why the fuck not? <laughs> let's just let's just have fun with it but anyhow thank you so much i i can't wait for next year and i hope you have a glorious holiday <laughs>